hope we get a close-up view of Cleopatra's needle. Okay. Over 3,500 years old, all the way from Alexandria. Yeah. See if you can spot the deliberate mistake. In London, so yeah. Dear Lord. It's a wonder we built the pyramids at all. To your right, Charing Cross Station. This right. bridge here, Hungerford Railway Bridge, built by a very famous Victorian civil engineer. Here's a part Kingdom Brunel, who was the engineer who built the world's first suspension bridge in the middle of the 19th century at Clifton in Bristol. To our right and to our left, Horse Guards Hotel, where the uh, famously MI5 British intelligence was founded at the beginning of the 20th century with the uh, Brexit crisis in current full swing. Those two words that they sit very comfortably together at the moment. British intelligence. British intelligence is there. Is there or is there? Oh my god, yeah. This side, yeah. That's the British now, intelligence. If we had along the embankment, we would have come to the new New Scotland Yard, British which replaces the old New Scotland Yard, which replaced Scotland Yard, which was in Scotland Yard. Coming up on our left hand side, the original Scotland wow. Yard, where the Metropolitan Police sent their first bodies out on the beat in London on the 29th of September, 1829. There it is, to left. Scotland Yard, right Straight ahead of us. Very much back in Whitehall to our left would have been Whitehall Palace, which burned down in 1698 during the reign of King William III. Largest palace in Europe, over 1500 rooms, was a hodgepodge of styles built over several hundred years. Finally burning down in 1869, the only bit left, Inigo Jones's banqueting house, outside which Charles I was executed on the 30th of January 1649. Straight ahead of us, we have Horse right. Guards Parade, where the uh, Household Division parade their colours every June in front of the Queen to commemorate the Queen's official birthday. Built by William Kent in 1742, wow. Horse Guards Parade. That is, we're almost coming to Trafalgar right Square. And encounter another iconic right. landmark. Oh. Nelson's column 169 feet high in the middle of Trafalgar Square was built by William Rolls between 1840 and 1844 to commemorate Nelson's stunning naval victory at the Battle of Trafalgar where he defeated the combined fleets of France and Spain on the 21st of October 1805. Nelson is buried in St Paul's Cathedral. He wasn't buried at sea. His request was because he suffered from seasickness all the way through his naval career and said, I could not bear an eternity of seasickness. So they brought his body home and he's buried in St. Paul's. Statue straight ahead of us of the gentleman on the horse, Charles I, who looks down Whitehall to his place of execution. To your left, no. at the Arch. The on the square. other side of the square, to your yeah, right there, the that's the National there. Gallery. Woo. Free of charge to get in over 2,000 miles of view for enjoy. There we are. Stands on the site of the Royal Stables that were first established there way back in 1377. Now, this building coming up on the right hand side is the Canadian High Commission that used to be the headquarters of the White Star Line, whose most famous ship was the Titanic. <laughs> of George III on his horse, Neddy. Yeah. George, George III. The great was famously blighted by a uh, period of profound insanity. By 1811, the poor man was so far gone, the great of power had to be handed over to his uh, overweight, opium-addled, alcoholic son, 
George, who eventually became George IV, mm -hmm. and he was crowned king in 1821. Ooh, we now enter another curiously named street. Pall Mall gets its curious name from Pale Meadow. The Italian version of Procade plays here. By Charles II and his courtiers, while they were waiting for their horses to be saddled at the Royal Stables. Pall Mall is also famous for its gentlemen's clubs. On the other side of these, this junction, on the left-hand corner, is uh, probably the most famous of them, the Athenaeum. Famous past members include uh, G.K. Chesterton, Thomas Hardy, the Duke of Wellington, Winston Churchill, Charles Darwin, and the marvellous Sir Alec Guinness. the Churchill statue. Alright, yeah. Royal Opera. Royal Opera Arcade Gallery. 